Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to install Adobe Reader. One of the um, features of Windows 8 is the ability to actually read PDF files um, on the fly. So uh, technically if you get a PDF you don't really need a uh, Adobe Reader or any exterior program for this but it has its drawbacks and it has its um, way of functioning that is not always the one that everybody wants. I personally prefer to have Adobe Reader for my PDF files. I find it more convenient and um, has a little more features than I can enjoy. So if you don't like the way PDFs are actually displayed on Windows 8, you can download Adobe Reader by clicking on your favorite web browser. Go and type in the address bar at the top www.adobe.com and there you'll be sent directly to the Adobe website. Now be careful if you type Adobe in the search, Google search, be careful that you really reach adobe.com and nowhere else. Adobe is one of those programs that's offered by third party websites that will also install a bunch of crap on your computer and you don't want that. So go to adobe.com and go downwards and you'll see on the right side Adobe Reader. Just click there. Um, in the middle at the top it's going to ask you if it wants to install uh, either McAfee or Google Chrome. Just don't mind that remove that little check mark and then click install on the bottom right and you should have this install that will start up and actually give you a uh, quite easy install process so you see here on the bottom left I've got my uh, program that's loaded I can click here if you've got Internet Explorer it's gonna say do you want to open you say yep and you continue on you click next and you leave the program install Adobe Reader itself. As soon as you've done that, your Adobe Reader will be installed on your computer. Now, if you've had Adobe Reader, if uh, you um, had an older version, sometimes there is install problems with Adobe when old versions are present. So what you might want to check for is go into your programs and features and remove anything that looks like Adobe Reader, uh, old versions of Adobe Reader if you already have some uh, to make sure that you have the good version here. Depending on the speed of your internet and your computer it will take anywhere from a few minutes to several minutes. I've seen old computers actually have, take as long as 15 or 20 minutes to install Adobe Reader. Uh, but um, one of the probably the major culprits of the long time, uh, long install time of Adobe Reader is the fact that a lot of uh, people have very basic internet connections. Once it's done, you click finish and here you are set up with Adobe Reader installed on your computer. And you can check it out by going into uh, all of your programs. So if you're on your start screen, just click the little arrow for all of your programs. You should see Adobe Reader uh, right there. Here I have it on the upper left because my apps are by date installed. You see Adobe Reader 11 new. And you can click on it and make sure that it works well. It will ask you to accept the uh, general Adobe Reader contract. Um, it also will update automatically, so you accept the contract and that's it. It will uh, update automatically from now on because it has this uh, Adobe Reader um, program that runs in the background that checks for updates. And it's very important to actually update Adobe Reader. It's one of those software that is uh, often used to try and infect a uh, Windows computer. So starting there, you should have Adobe Reader and you can check it out by going on your uh, uh, computer and try to uh, get a PDF file. If you see that the PDF files are still 
associated with um, the old software as it is here, you can right click any PDF file, click open with and choose default programs. Then you just click keep using Adobe Reader and you see that the Adobe Reader will automatically be the new logo on the PDFs instead of the Windows function of reading the uh, PDFs. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online and help you and you'll be helping others at the same time. And hopefully you enjoy our videos. If you got that new Windows 8 machine, take a look at all our videos online. Lots of videos to help you learn how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye bye.